Good afternoon, everyone. It's Christine Turner talking to you live from New Westminster, British Columbia, Canada. How's everyone doing? It's, well, it's still a good time. And I'm just going to keep on talking because I have an interesting subject to talk about today. And something I've been thinking about because it kind of, kind of affected me this past year, so to speak, and I'm still moving forward. And it's perseverance versus resoluteness. Okay? Now I'm going to talk about the meaning a little bit and then we're going to go from there. Okay, and give you my thoughts all about it. So, anyways, the meaning of perseverance is, is actually much more than the resoluteness, but here we go, guys. Perse pers perseverance is a persistence in doing something despite the difficulty. Steady persistence in a course of action, especially in spite of difficulties, obstacles, or dis discouragement. Persistence and keep trying to not give up. There's the key. To do something and keep doing it till the end. Clarify a goal based on your purposes, needs, and abilities. Hmm? So I just thought that was interesting. And then there's versus irresoluteness, which means the lack of firmness of what you want to do, you know, lack of purpose, you know, you don't want to do something. You're being indecisive, the act of being hesitant uncertainty, uncertain how to, to proceed, just being irresolute, stop, I'm not going to do it, I don't want to go forward, you're sort of um, stagnant, so to speak. So these are two interesting words. Now the first, the second one I'm going to talk about first, uh, irresol irresoluteness, yeah, because I actually had, a, a, I think for a lot of years in my life, I was very irresolute. Um, especially when I got sick with my cancer and I stopped and I stopped really doing an awful lot for myself for about eight to ten years. I didn't want to go out working. I was too afraid to go out and find work. I was stagnant a little bit. I stopped myself. You know, I, 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 I was the word I would say. I actually was indecisive. I actually, I did lack firmness of who I was as a person. And I kept doing that for, for a lot of years. And, um, uh, it was hard for me. It was hard for me to, to be like that because I had a, a little minimal self-esteem, you know. I didn't want to move forward in my life. I didn't want to do anything. So this is what happened to me. But the best one of it is perseverance. I love the idea of perseverance. You want to know what I love about perseverance? Especially with my sweetie in the suit, guys. Because with perseverance, it's, it's like this. Clarifying your goals based on... Based and your purpose and needs and ability, right? Number two, intent to achieve your goal. Number three, maintain optimism. Number four, live in the present. Number five, acknowledge your accomplishment. Number six, try new experiences. That's perseverance. Number seven, forgive yourself. Care for you, your, your mind, your body, your emotions, your spirit. And experience yourself living your new goal. So. I think perseverance is, is something like not giving up on life, right? Not giving up of, of what you want to do, right? So the reason why I'm talking about this today is because I've had a lot of incidents this past year, so to speak, where uh, due to our financial issues, we've, had, we've really persevered this past year steadily. And it gives me an example of last summer when I decided to sell all my jewelry because I thought I'd rather persevere and carry on and not give up to keep the jewelry at hand because I just don't want to do anything. I want to, I mean, I was being irresolute. Irresolute. Because I didn't want to sell my jewelry. I didn't want to help us out. I didn't want to help us to persevere and to not give up. So I did it. I chose to sell all my, most of my jewelry. Now I have one more piece to sell and I'm going to sell it today. You know, I'm going to get rid of it because I'd rather have, have us be on an even keel in life and persevere and not give up. That's what, I want to talk about because I really felt frustrated this past while because I started in a new career in my life. It's like two years ago when I was quite, quite, quite big and I didn't know if I could do it. And I guess for so many years I'd go back to my old ways and eating and say I, get, I would give up on my, my, myself and my body and who I was and I would stop eating. I would eat, eat, eat till the cows come in. And then two years ago I said, no, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to step up. I'm going to move forward. I'm going to exercise. And I stuck with it. I persevered. I exercised. I ate healthy. And to this day, I'm, I just came back from a walk. It was really, really, it's actually, we have a real wintry day. We have lots of snow and lots of stuff uh, on the sidewalk. 
and there are a few spots where I went to my park where because there's a hill it was a little bit treacherous but I persevered and I got through my walk why I wanted to go through it more because I didn't want to give up on my exercise I give I don't give up I perse persevere and I exercise each day each day on a daily basis because I know it's good for my health and it's healthy and I don't give up on that same with my new career a few months ago when I decided to start a new career and it's been rough it's been rough because I'm st still new at it but I'm persevering I'm keeping strong it's like with my sweet pardon me guys I see something on, on my screen here it's like my sweet in the suit you know he uh, we've had a, last year we struggled um, and he's the kind of guy who he works for the union so it was hard for him to keep steady work so when I did some, I drew to help us sustain for a few months. Um, he, he was fortunate enough to get into a new job. Now this job was hard because it was a night shift, graveyard shift. He had to have a, a good welding test. He had to have a good physical to make sure that he could get through this. And he has so far this past few months. He's persevered. He's persevered and he goes to work every night. He works graveyard shift. He comes home and he sleeps, you know. So he perseveres. He's a very strong man. He doesn't give up. You know, he's a wonderful man who doesn't give up on life, on living. That's what you do. You persevere. You do not give up on life and living. So I tell you guys, that though things can be hard, and it could be desperately bad, like it is for us right now, we are persevering as a couple, as a part, as a partner in a partnership, because we know, at in the end of the day, that do not give up on life. Do not give up on yourself. Do not give up on anything, because things do work out. It just takes time sometimes. Get through it. Persevere. It may be difficult, but this, do not give up. Stay to the steady course. Keep moving forward. And I've felt like that this past few months. And I'm thankful and fortunate that he, he is persevering through the graveyard shift. And it's hard for him. Poor Masood. I mean, he's, he's almost 60 and he's doing graveyard shift. But he perseveres. He doesn't give up. He keeps to the steady course to help us stay on a steady path with our minimal finances and I'm thankful for that and that's why today I chose to continue with the perseverance and I chose because I put my ring on our Facebook marketplace to sell on locally and finally got a bite somebody's going to buy it this beautiful little ring I said nope I don't want that ring I'd rather have money that we need to sustain to move forward to persevere than to have it in my jewelry box getting dusty that's my thought so these are my thoughts today when I talk about perseverance and irresoluteness. I did have a lot of, re I was very resolute for quite a few years where I did step, step back, where I kept myself, my weight on. I kept not wanting to do anything. I kept thinking I couldn't do it until over a year ago when I turned 58 and I had all my weight off and I was feeling happy within myself. And even though things were hard, I would rather choose to not give up and persevere because things do get better. You just have to stay strong. You've got to stay the course. You've got to keep moving forward. So persevere. Do not give up. Do not give up on yourselves, on your life, and who you are. Hi, Osavio. Hi, Palisa. Because perseverance is the key to everything. Perseverance to not give up because everything works out in the end. Guys, check out my replay because I'm just about finished. <laughs> I th promised myself I wouldn't do a very long one. It's all about Perseverance vs. Irresoluteness. And I've check out my replay, guys. It's the start of it. It's something I wanted to talk about because I felt this was a part of life. We all, through each one of us, persevere. We all must not give up on things. Things could get hard. Things could be bad when we step back and we, res we become irresolute. We go, no, 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 no. I don't want to do it. And I say to you all, in times of personal life, in times of family life, in times of work life, do not give up. Stay the course. Be steady. Persevere. You all can do it. I am an example. I'm persevering. My sweet Masood is example. He perseveres every night when he does his graveyard shift. And the man is 60 in two weeks. 60 and he's still working graveyard shift because he's persevering. He's not giving up. It's a wonderful example truly wonderful example. That's why I love him so much because he stays the course. And I say to you now, I'm, I'm we're having a hard time, but we're persevering. We're not giving up. Because you don't. You stay strong within you because you love you for who you are and you know you are. We're all beautiful human beings. We all have this kindness and strength inside. Get that strength out. Don't back off. 
Don't be irresolute. Persevere. I'm sorry, guys. I have to be in my mouth. Stay strong. Keep going. Because there's always something good that happens on the other side. That's all I wanted to say today, guys. Well, thank you for coming on. Uh, Osavio and Parisa. Check my replay because I got talked about earlier. I'm, I'm trying my best to keep this a little shorter. And it's a subject I want to talk about. Because when things get hard and we get frustrated, we do have a tendency to be resolute. Re- resolute because we don't want to go move forward. We don't want to go back. We, we, we hesitate. We, we back off. We become in, indecisive. And I say, no, do not give up. Persevere. Keep moving forward. There's always something good that happens to the other, on the other side of life. Perseverance. That's a wonderful word. Don't be a resident. Don't be indecisive. Don't stop yourself. It doesn't work. Move forward. Persevere. Don't give up. Stay strong. Well, that's all I wanted to say to you guys. Thank you very much for listening to me. And everyone have a lovely day. Stay strong inside you. Don't give up on life. Life is awesome. My love to you all. Talk to you soon. Bye.